Young Western Hockey League players all dream about getting their names called at the NHL draft. And two members of the Swift Grand Broncos are sure to get that opportunity this June. Jake DeBrusque and Glenn Godden have come up together from the fourth line to being go-to offensive weapons at a short time in the league. It's definitely helped. Um, last year we were kind of in the same boat as well, so just kind of last year coming into this year we both knew that we were going through kind of the same thing, so just it's nice to have someone to, to talk to. Godden and DeBrusque had different expectations when Broncos originally called their names. Godden was a first-round Bantam draft pick destined for their top line. While DeBrusque was an undersized seventh round flyer they hoped would hit a growth spurt. I was honestly the most excited person I think when I got drafted. I didn't know if I was or wasn't gonna um, because I was really small. I knew I was good enough. DeBrusque exceeded expectations and found himself moving from a surprise rookie playoff hero to the team's leading goal scorer as a sophomore. As it was a goal of mine, you know, it's always a goal of yours to do well for the team. And, um, you know, I knew if I played like I did the and last year, you know, I knew I'd have a good chance to uh, put up some good numbers and contribute for the team. Both players took some time to find their stride as rookies and have been a huge part of the team's offense in their second season. Part of that is just getting comfortable at another level. I think for me, a huge thing was confidence. I think being a 16-year-old in this league, um, you don't really know what it's like. So obviously getting one season... Uh, in your, on, under your belt, it, it helps you a lot and get more familiar and comfortable with the league. While they've both taken big strides, they are also always trying to take another step forward so they can become players that not only get attention from NHL teams, but also get a chance to play at that level one day. I think for me, obviously trying to get faster and stronger is, is, a, is a big thing to try to get to the next level, which I'm trying to work on and continue to do so. DeBrusque's father, Louis, played in the NHL, and Jake has leaned on him for guidance as he travels a path his dad already went down. Um, you know, when I first came in the league, he was the guy I leaned on the most, and, um, you know, I still lean on him, and, um, you know, he's been in and around the game his whole life, and even right now he's around it, so um, he's just giving me tips and pointers on what to do to be successful at uh, this level and uh, hopefully next. Jake and Glenn were both big city guys who got a taste of small city life moving to Swift Current. I think it's, it's it's meant a lot to me, kind of just seeing what it's like. Obviously, it's a lot different than, than where I'm from, so the change is something kind of a lot different, but I, I like it. Um, it's kind of cool to um, go around the city and people will talk to you about the games and stuff, so I've uh, really enjoyed it, and um, you know what, I've loved my time here. Both players agree getting drafted would be a tremendous accomplishment, and as much as they may have had favorites growing up, they're ready to play anywhere. It's uh, a huge honor to be, I guess, kind of in the, in the mix for some of the draft eligible players that are, that are talked about and it's something that you dream of. You know, it's kind of whatever team takes me as a new favorite team, I'll tell you that for sure. Now we wait for June to see if and when Jake DeBrusque and Glenn Godden will get their names called to start the next step in their hockey journey. For Sega's Inside Edge on the Swift Current Broncos, I'm Sean Mullen.